everyone, it's Lupe from Bruno Planning Co. For this video, I wanted to show you how I pre-plan my week. I've gotten quite a few comments and questions about how I am able to plan in my daily duo and what is my process. So I wanted to show you how I basically plan my entire week before the week even starts. So this is the Obito Week notepad that I use from Erin Condren to do that pre-planning as well as my monthly spread in my daily duo. I use that a lot and that usually gets done at the very beginning of the month. Then I also have this new notepad from from Erin Condren that came with the spring surprise box. This is what I plan to use for my school to do's and then I also have my Archer and Olive notebook or my dot journal which I use to pre-plan my shop to do's and I also have a monthly spread in there just for my shop. So most of my planning does get done on Sundays and so Sundays is when I'll go ahead and fill out this notepad with the entire week and I'll fill out my Archer and Olive notebook as well making sure I look at the monthly and you'll see me do all of that but this day actually when I'm filming is on Monday of my the first First Monday of my spring break I was um, having a pretty relaxing weekend and so I didn't end up planning on the Sunday before the week started. I really don't like planning my entire week on a Monday but since it was my spring break and I have all this time I was able to do that pretty well and pretty quickly on Monday and it didn't really influence too much of the rest of the week since I didn't have to go into work. And the very first thing that I plan is all of my cleaning for the week. So I use for reference my cleaning schedule that I created earlier in the year. If you haven't watched that video I'll I'll link it in the description. So that's the very first thing that I write down when I'm pre-planning because it's something that pretty much stays constant. I know I do laundries on Tuesdays. I know I clean the bathroom on Thursday. So I'll just make sure I write that down first so I know you know, when I'm planning everything else besides cleaning, I know what I'm doing that day and how much time I will allow for cleaning those days. And you did see me flip back to my weekend spread, which from which was the weekend before, so this Saturday and Sunday. Um, I ended up not, like I said, I, I didn't do much that with the weekend, which means I didn't get some of my cleaning done as well. So I had to make sure that I went back to those tasks and writing down that I'm actually going ahead and doing that on this next coming weekend. And I'll do that pretty frequently. I'll go back to my previous spread pages, make sure any tasks that haven't been done, I go ahead and migrate them to the following week or maybe the following, you know, couple weeks or the next month, depending on whatever that task is. And of course, how important it is. Now, because I am in spring break, I'm not going to fill out this to-do list from school because I don't really have anything to do for school this week. But typically I do have quite a bit to do and I'm sure next week it will be filled. But this week it's pretty nice. I get to focus on relaxing a little bit, drawing, and just doing a lot of things for my shop. And so here I'm writing down some of my to-dos for my sticker shop. So I want to finish some designs that I didn't do over the weekend and um, do a few more other things that I like to pre-plan here as well. And so this notepad, I, I love this notepad so much. And maybe you're wondering why I don't have a weekly planner for this kind of pre-planning. And that's because, well, first this notepad is a lot cheaper than a planner and I don't want to use it as maybe something decorative or like a memory planner it's really just a list of to do's and it's like a rough draft of what I want my week to look like so you'll see me cross things out you'll see me write things over and that's because this is just a draft so it, there's nothing set in stone that's what I use my daily duo for so I really don't need kind of like another planner for all of this kind of drafting of plans it, this notepad works really well for me another reason I love it so much is because you can just rip off the notepad page and then I just stick it behind my daily duo in the nice folder fits perfectly and then I can carry around with me and make any kind of notes throughout the week if there's something else that I want to do so it works out really well and if you want to do something like this I do recommend just a notepad if you want to draft your plans because again planners are kind of expensive and I don't necessarily like having a ton of them and I just think the notepad works really well so here what I'm doing is I'm doing a really quick layout for my sticker shop. I like to keep all of these layouts for my sticker shop really quick, really fast. Nothing super decorative because that's what I use my daily duo for. I use my daily duo for, you know, being really functional but also decorative when I feel like doing that. And so this one is just very functional and just my to-dos for my sticker shop. Now I have already written some to-dos for my sticker shop on the Oh What A Week notepad, but here in the Archer and Olive notebook is where I like to somewhat finalize those plans a little bit more 
more and be a little bit go more into detail i don't have a ton of room in the daily duo because i do put home school and shop things in my daily duo so i did find that i needed at least one other kind of notebook just for my sticker shop it really helps me separate it and since i share a lot of my spreads on instagram i also don't want to share everything about my sticker shop just because some things are like you know fun surprises or things that i don't want to release just yet or let everybody know so it kind of gives me that little privacy as well but i found it really useful just to kind of focus on my shop in one planner because there is kind of a lot to do and that's just how it's been very helpful for me and so this whole process takes me about 25 to 30 minutes so filling out the order week making my spread and then um just making sure i check everything off from my monthly pages and anything that i haven't done the previous week making sure i have all that written down now i didn't show you how i fill out my sticker shop planner and that's because again i just want to keep some things private so once those two things are filled out my sticker shop planner and my notepad then i can go ahead and start planning monday of the following week in my daily duo and so basically all my plans are already thought out i already know what i could possibly get done on the days because i've pre-planned it and now when i go to my daily duo i just make sure i'm a little bit more realistic if some things don't get done then i'll just move it to another day in the notepad i don't have to worry about crossing things out in my daily duo it's already kind of done for me i just have to again kind of fine tune it make sure i'm being super realistic with my time and my daily duo pages take me about another 20 to 25 minutes to plan depending on um, if i'm doing something else or if i'm trying to be a little bit more decorative or you know use more stickers or use more washi it really depends on kind of what i want there if i kept it bare bones it would take me maybe about 15 minutes okay so that's how i pre-plan my week and some of the things that i use i hope that gives you a little bit more insight into how i'm able to use a daily duo on a daily basis and so i hope you got some inspiration if you liked the video i'd love it if you liked and subscribed if you haven't already let me know if you have any more questions in the comment section i'll be sure to respond bye everyone mm -hmm.